Hello guys, now we want to continue from where we left off in the other previous video where we created a free body part. So the part was falling, but now we could not see how it's falling. So we want to create a graphic because just it was just a point. So it was just a free body, therefore we want to create now a cylinder and we attach it to the body so that we see how it falls. So we open, we open our model, the one that we saved us. So as you can remember, we saved it and uh, this is where we saved it, free body part. So we open this, open model like that. So now once we open the model, now we need now to add points. We need some points for the cylinder. So you come to the project and this is how you add your points. So we come here. So here you have two options. You can add point manually like this. So we have point one and then we have the variable. So you can click apply. And then now instead of coming again and adding the second point, you can see you have point zero already. Instead of coming and adding another point from here, right clicking here, you can just click. Once you click apply, the first point is there, the first point is added as P0.0. .0. And then now, because you only need two points, we click like that. Okay. So the other option you can do is right click here and add another point. So let me show you how we do it. So assuming we've added point. One, we delete we delete this one now we need to add point zero so we add point like that point one sorry we need so as you can see it's still the same same process the same same variable name the variable names are here and we are going to use them when we are doing our some of the simulations that we'll do here so now once we are we have our point so let this point have the coordinate zero 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 and the second point two we are we have to put the same the following coordinates so 10, so 10, and then we leave y as 0. As you can see, it has f of x. So it's a function. So you can even write an equation there as long as you keep the variable the, the variable name. This is, these are the ones that are going to help us. So in the x direction, we'll multiply it by x, and but you'll see how we'll do it. Now, the next thing that we want to do is to fit the model to see all the entities. So how do we fit the model? We just click this icon here. So like that you see the first you see the origin the point zero and now this is the object that we created the free body and it's still remember we put it as glo at global origin so it's still the same as point zero so this is the free body that we created and now this is the second point point two which has 10 0 and 10 now now the next thing now is to create the graphic now to create the graphic, if you come on and at this panel here where we create, where we have our run, we have our simulation. So you click this. Once you click that, we right click it. We right click to get a cylinder. So you right click to get a cylinder. You don't click, you just right click. And then you have a cylinder like that. So once you click the cylinder, and then you, you see now we have even it itself, it has a variable. So it's cylinder zero, so you say okay. And now we have to create to click the body. We have to get the parent. So for us to get the parent, we have to select our free body as the origin, as the parent. Now, not the origin, sorry, as the parent. So this is the you double click it, and then now you take free body part like that. So you have to remember the name. Now we click the point. The origin point is point zero because that's zero zero zero. So you click again and then you take point zero. So you see once you click point, it does not take you to the body. And then you click this other one as point one like that. Once you do that, you get your cylinder. But now we need now to change the dimensions, the, the radius of this cylinder. So we can click property. Once you click property, you just change one radius. So you put that to one, then automatically the other one will fall in place. Now we can click out of it and then you will see now this is my free body remember the free body that we created now the next thing when you are doing the previous tutorial remember we put the moment of inertia and the mass as one and then one 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 but this is this is now a, a 3d it's a solid so we need now to calculate to get another point which will help us obtain the center of mass now for us to get to do this we need now to create another point point two 
So you just come here, you create another point, add a point. Now, in this case, we have a point two, so we click OK. Now for point two, now for the coordinates, now we put an equation because, why are we using an equation? Because as this cylinder will be falling, it will be changing. We cannot, we cannot put it as just a number. We have to put it as a function. Therefore, we change in the X. So we write P underscore zero like that. As you can see, this P underscore zero is this one times X plus we want to get the average the center point now now this applies to the cylinder because the cylinder is symmetrical but for other 3d views or 3d objects i don't know how you, you, you need to get to get you need to get as you can see we have an error there so there is something that we have not done we have not times x like that and then we say okay as you can see it's at the midpoint now for also for y we do the same so we do the same even even though we know now it's zero. So do like that dot y. So for y you multiply by y, then one dot y over two like that. And then now for z you do the same thing into brackets p underscore zero dot z Plus, because we are getting the average so as it moves it doesn't matter so where it is it's moving so even though even if it moves from the coordinates as it falls the the z axis will be changing or the y coordinate will be changing therefore that's why we are writing an equation p underscore one dot one and then not dot one dot z so we'll get used to that don't worry like that so now we are okay with that, so we want to save this. So we can save this under this, and then we save this session as creating cylinder. Or we can put it as, as creating cylinder, or cylindric cylinder. Cylinder like that. So we have saved like that. So we save so that in case of anything, we can always come back to it. Now we need now to create the center, to locate the center of mass. So now to create the center of mass, this is what we do. So you come here, graphic entity attributes like that. And now we select the cylinder like that. Now once you select the cylinder, we cannot just come and we cannot see the center point that we have created point two. So to do that, because it's opaque, you come here under opaque, and then you click this so that you see we have our point here. Now, once we, we have our point there, now we have to click the body icon. So we have our body icon, filter by body. As you can see, we have our body. So you, you click this so that we filter by body, and then we come to the cylinder. So you click the cylinder like that, and as you can see, it the body parts have become, the other parts have become active. As you can see what I've done there. You see these are the original mass 111. So we don't want this. So we, for you, it can auto-calculate for you. So you come here, get properties from associated graphics, and then you can see the center of mass has changed. Now the point has moved now to this part here, to the middle point that we have created. Now. The next thing, the next thing, now we can come here and run the simulation because now we are okay, we have done almost everything. There's nothing else that you can do here. So come here, we click run like that. Now, for this case, we need now to, to change this. We need to change some things. So we need to save the model as, save model as, and then now, come back here and then we call it cylinder cylinder like that and then we save so that when we are going to to trace back what we have as you can see now the simulation will be saved as cylinder.xml these are the purpose these are this is for the purpose of hyperview and even plotting the 
graph now okay if you want to change the time you can change from here please remember that and then now we click run and then we see what happens click run like that job is completed now these are the previous these are the previous errors so you close now you don't need to come again and select hyper view from here you can just click animate here and then the hyper view window will will be active as you can see now let's click you see it, it has fallen it has gone down and now once it reaches the end now you see now it's falling now how do we know it's falling now let's zoom out and then you will see how it's falling let's zoom out like that and then now we click play it falls falls, and then it comes back again now we can see the actual fall now let's return this to zero like that and then we out of feed this like that now the next thing that you want to do you see when you are simulating this this is falling we are in hyper view now we want to add our graph so we can add our graph let's do this we can do and come here to this we have already animated click the first window click the, uh, the 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 original one this one for the motion view this for the motion view this for the hyper view so once you click you'll see the icon here will change you see it's changing now we click plot now once we click plot now our plot will be here now we want to click to, to animate this see how it's going is it going according to our plot so just as usual time and then we come here to the body and then free body and then we don't make the same mistake that we did last time and then we click apply yes and then we click the animation and then we see what happens so it's starting from zero it's falling so i want to to zoom out on this like that and then i'm going to pan it up to that point and then we see what happens like that so it's going according to both of them are going the same now as you can see it's falling like that and so on and so forth now the next thing we, we can decide if you want to track the motion you, let's say you want to track the motion of this falling object so let's come to this and then we drag back to zero like that and then we out of it is that out of it can out of it like that now let's say we want to 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 track the motion how it's falling we don't want it to disappear now click on this and then you come here this icon that looks like a satellite dish like that click on it like that and then come here to the tracking systems click add like that and then make sure you select that and now from here we don't want the node we want the cylinder or the component like that and then from there you come and click this like that you click the cylinder on the hyperview window now as you can see now component primitive 90,000 and so on and so forth now we click play as you can see now it's not disappearing it's not disappearing it would have been better if we had a road a road road that's or a tarmac where it's the cylinder is rolling on it will have been easy now that marks the end of this video so let's say for instance you are here and you want maybe you have twisted this like that maybe you want it to go back to the original so you can you have these icons here you can click that one to get the original you can twist like that like that like that as you, now you can see how you can see the free body that we created so you can use these icons if you mess a bit so you can, the, the software is very is user friendly very very good so you can also change the legend of these parts you can even change the legend so you can come here and click options so page layout you can put the header the footer you can change the the, 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 the heading of this horizontal axis you can change everything from here so even the legend you can change how it looks where it is the curve options the vertical axis you can name and so on and so forth so now 
that marks the end of this video another thing that maybe i can show you you can come here where is that view and then if you don't want panels to be there the panels are gone if you want a bigger view if you want them back click like that and you can change it from here so in case they disappear always come here and check now that marks the end of this video thank you very much